Hey, good morning, everybody. This your boy, Rob Thomas Jr. And this is a special episode of the Real New Behind the New video. Uh, today is March 15th, 2016. And if you go back to last, what, I think it was just a Thursday, um, the 11th, I think it was. If you look at our first video, you'll see how this water has come up now. I just got off the uh, phone with a uh, cattle parish commissioner, Lyndon Johnson. He's supposed to be calling me back. So the information that I'm giving you now is based upon um, what uh, cattle parish sheriff Steve Prater, uh, Mayor Ollie Tyler, um, cattle parish commissioner Lyndon Johnson, city council of I mean, Willie Bradford has given us the latest. And, and the latest is that uh, we're thinking that the rivers have supposed to have crested. But as you can see, the water is pushing. You got this whole side of, of, of the Russell Road has been turned into a lake. We thank the people who um, came out to help, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and raise awareness about the flood. You know, I was just trying to do my job when the mainstream media wasn't talking about our neighborhood. Somebody had to speak up and speak out. So, hey, we finna uh, pause this. I'm finna throw on my rubber boots. And I'm finna see how far I can walk around in this. Y'all give me just a second. Okay. Now, if you remember the last video that we did last week, um, I think it was Saturday, we was able to drive. This is Bright Street. We was able to drive on Bright Street. I showed you all that church. This church here got hit. And it, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not halfway. And look at what the water had on my boots. You got a little lake right here. And it's, it just spread it all the way down that way. I, I'm not going to be able to. I, I, I might can walk. Y'all give me just one second. Now, I'm walking through some of the water. I ain't going to go too far. Because I just took three, three steps. And hold on, I want y'all to see how the water, how deep this water is. I got on my rubber boots and I can't really go that far because this water is pretty deep y'all now this water gonna sit probably for a while which raises the um, I think we might have dodged the bullet as far as uh, major property damage here on the Cooper Road although that house down there is wiped out um, I told I tried to tell that lady there the other day that the water was gonna rise close to her house but um well, we already knew the church was gone. It was gone on that last video I showed y'all. But um, I think, y'all give me just a second. I got to move my car. Uh, I think we're going to miss um, a lot of major property damage. But one other thing that we're going to have to watch for is, um, you know, the animals that's coming up out of the, um, the animals that's coming up trying to find higher ground themselves. Cause I just behind the uh, neighborhood association, seen all kinds of snakes. Well, I seen a couple of snakes back there. Y'all, give me just a second. All right. Now we we here right now on Nash Street. And again, if you go back and look at all the videos that we've done over the last few days, you see how the water is rising. But again, I'm pretty sure I just not too long ago talked to council. I mean, um, Cattle Cat Parish Commissioner Linda Johnson. And um, we think the water has crested, so it shouldn't be too much more water rising. But there is another um, aspect that we have to look at now, because um, I was just over at the Neighborhood Association building here, and um, I seen a couple of snakes going through the water. So we want to remind the citizens that even though, you, you know, it seems that, look at here, this, this gentleman here that lost his home, you know, um, Sandbagging wasn't gonna do no good for that, but you literally have a lake up here on the Russell Road And as I, I mean, I, I mean I'm just now three feet from the water and this water is already two three feet Well two feet deep about right here foot deep right here And as I go take another step you're going about three feet I'm in the middle of a lake in the middle of our neighborhood So I want everybody to be mindful that even though the water might not rise much more there are uh, concerns about snakes and other um, vermin now because all these animals, they're trying to get to high ground also. I was just, again, over behind the Neighborhood Association and I seen two or three snakes 
swimming in that water over there. Again, it's not to spread panic, but I want you all to be aware that um, just this water's going to sit for a while, y'all. And that's going to breed mosquitoes um, and other, other type of... Um, other type of issues that, that's going to arise from this standing water. This is Nash Street right here. And I think it's just as worse on the next street over Hall. But I'm running out of camera space. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video. But I'm going to tell you all to, um, if you need anything, you can contact um, your, your, your Cattle Parish Sheriff Department, Shreveport Police Department, your City Council member, a uh, representative. Um, you can also contact me at The Real News Behind the News. And I'll try to get in on it. But um, we got to look out for each other, y'all, in this situation. Again, right now, I want y'all to uh, remember that the water might not rise that much higher than what it is no more because the lakes and rivers and bayous have crested pretty much. But again, now there's the, um, the chance of um, snakes being, you know, um, found uh, uh, up here on higher ground. Um, you, who knows, you might have possums, um, raccoons, all these things because those animals are trying to find higher ground just like we do. So, hey, again, this is your boy Rod Thomas Jr. Y'all catch me in just a moment. We're going to be going live with uh, KTBS, Channel 3 News here in Shreveport. So until y'all see me on the news, um, on the real news, behind the news, mainstream news, or hear another one, see another one of these videos or see, hear me on the radio, y'all be blessed.